Solar system and home battery backup for $69.98 a month and with an APR as low as 0.99%. Go to solarmaxtech.com. Monthly payment available on approved credit. Sales will be in your mind. Your local grocery outlet has all the name brands you love, all at amazing low prices. And this week, they're big on BOGO. Start your morning off right with Quaker Life Cereal. 13-ounce varieties are buy one, get one free. You don't want to mess with the IRS. They have the power to garnish your paycheck, levy your bank account, and even take your home or business. That's all true. But thankfully, they're offering a way out. The Fresh Start Initiative. If you qualify, you could save thousands. The experts at Optima Tax Relief will fight to get you the best deal possible. And they have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau to prove it. Call Optima for your free consultation. Call 800-783-8055. 800-783-8055. Optima Tax Relief. For details, visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Hello. Hi, Monica. I'm the helpful Southern California Honda person, and I'm calling to give you a random act of helpfulness. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> we heard you'd like help building a podcast studio. Well, I'm putting together a small entrepreneur business. Okay. I'm currently unemployed due to pandemic. Hmm. I wanted to start a podcast. Oh, cool. Just to set myself up a small studio where I'm able to put my ideas out there as well as probably help others mm -hmm. who have something to say and they just don't have an avenue to do it. Well, Honda would like to help. We're going to get you the recording equipment you need. Oh, my God. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Today, we help start a podcast, and we can help you too. Right now, you can get 0% APR financing on an award-winning Honda SUV, like the 2021 HRV. Visit SoCalHondaDealers.com to find the helpful Honda dealer near you. For well-qualified buyers on approved credit through Honda Financial Services, Monica is a real person and was paid to be on the radio. California's had an out-migration of residents to other states. But if you isolate the homeless population moving from other states to California, we're probably seeing a reverse trend. There's an uptick in homeless coming to California, and there's an outtick in people with jobs and with lives leaving yeah. California. John and Ken, taxpayers out, homeless then. Weekdays at 2 on KFI. <laughs> Gary Hoffman, Shannon Farron, in for Handle today, KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. Mike Krzyzewski wow. is hanging it up after oh, yeah. only 42 seasons. <laughs> Come on. And still people don't recognize his name when they see it in print. <laughs> it's a tough one. Wait, that's Coach K? Krzyzewski. <laughs> yeah. Wait, his name's K, right? Coach K. Why, how do you pronounce that? Krzyzewski. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. Doesn't, don't ask me. Uh, full show come up, 7 o'clock. Uh, Brad Garrett, ABC's crime and terrorism analyst, is going to join us. This ransomware, uh, this increase in what we've seen in terms of ransomware attacks. And there's, uh, you know, a lot of places around the United States specifically that have been subjected to ransomware attacks that we don't hear about. School districts, hospitals, um, police departments, well, many of them simply pay to make these things go away. This is kind of a, a different type of pandemic. Brad's going to talk with us coming up at the top of Have the you seen the bobcat that's been hanging around Los Feliz? No. Stalking a neighborhood? No. Those things are nasty. No. Cats in general. Just, mm-mm. What? Ugh. Gross. Uh, Shelby the cat is taking offense to this this morning, Gary. I don't care. Did you Damn. name? I, uh, I don't care. Did you name your cat after uh, Julia Roberts' character in Steel Magnolias? Nope, the car. Got it. We continue with handle on the news. Those are two very different reasons <laughs> to name a cat. In Utah, some girls are coping differently. <laughs> decided to take their parents' car and drive to California for a beach vacation. Well, listen. I get it. If they didn't get very far, right? No. No, they did not. Because if they did, right, what a, what a fun poetic story of these two young children making their way down I-15 all the way to Venice. Oh, my God. What happened to the beach? Nine and four. That is crazy. They can't reach those pedals. They crashed into a tractor trailer. Oh, my God. They were unhurt. But the parents were asleep when they took the keys, apparently. 
and they were awakened when police told them about the crash. Gary, I ask you this as the parent in the room. Mm -hmm. While horrified, once you found out your kids were okay, how kind of proud would you be? I would be super proud. Me too. No, that's a good question. They were wearing their seatbelts. That is true. Does I that did help? Practice in safety. Yeah, that's that's very good. Uh, thankfully, a judge here in LA County has denied a uh, resentencing request from Pearl Fernandez. This uh, monster of a human being and her boyfriend are the ones who killed her son Gabriel up in Palmdale, and. Because of the way the new changes to state law affect some people who are convicted of murder under, this is a weird thing, under theories that do not require intent to kill, including felony murder or uh, natural and probable consequences theory. This caught a lot of headlines because of the case, right? We all remember what happened to Gabriel Fernandez. We all remember the failures and the system that led to his torture and eventual murder. And it caught a lot of headlines for that reason, but this was never going to happen. This was never, ever going to happen. Judge Lamelli was never going to say, yeah, you know what, Pearl, you do deserve uh, a new sentence. There's just no way that was ever going to happen. Well, there's, there, there seemed to be zero wiggle room in the whole thing. She, the things that she admitted to doing... Yeah. Um, a, a, to her own son, there's no way that a judge of any kind would have been able Paperwork to... Paperwork like this is filed all the time in these cases. Uh, this one just caught a lot of headlines. This is the poop the that they throw against the wall? Exactly. Okay. All right. There's a guy who was out on bail in connection with a previous felony, serious and violent felony, in 2011. He's back behind bars because... He fatally attacked a 70-year-old man earlier this week in Anaheim. David Abbott uh, is accused of fatally attacking a 70-year-old man earlier this week. He also allegedly attacked a 60-year-old man who was in his front yard. And while officers were taking that report about the 60-year-old guy, they got the call about the 70-year-old man. What's going on with this guy? Well, he's now in jail, so not a lot. That's good. Going on with him anymore? But why is he randomly attacking older gentlemen? I think you're going to find some sort of mental issue. No. Well, I'm just not no. a doctor or anything. I'm just going to go out on a limb. And maybe he's not stable? No. Mm -hmm. He took a day Screw off. Driver? He took a day off from his, uh, from his work, you know, trading equities and just started attacking people. All right. We will continue with Handle on the News. Coming back. Gary and Shannon in for handle. Jennifer Jones Lee has the latest. A coalition of anti drug groups says a bill legalizing injection sites in California is bad for business. Frank Lee is with the California Coalition Against Drugs and says Vancouver tried legal injection sites and it was a failure. In fact, Lee says over an 18 year period, there was a 1,000% increase in drug overdose deaths, confirming the program doesn't work. Former Governor Jerry Brown was vetoing a similar bill in 201A, claiming that the disadvantages of this bill far away any possible benefit. Proponents say injection sites are a clean and safe alternative to shooting up with dirty needles on the streets. Lee says these sites enable destructive behavior. Steve Gregory, KFI News. A driver's been killed in a car crash at the end of a high-speed pursuit in Rosemead. The CHP says officers spotted the guy going up to 125 ma miles an hour on the 10 in the early hours of this morning. They say he crashed his car on the Walnut Grove Avenue off-ramp. Paramedics took to the guy to the hospital where he later died. A brush fire in Riverside County has burned about 75 acres. It's just 5% contained. The fire started in Banning about 6.30 last night. Cal Fire says it's burning in light to medium fuels and about 140 firefighters are working to contain it. President Biden says he hopes his National Month of Action will encourage people around the country to get the vaccine. A month-long effort to pull all the stops, all the stops to free ourselves from this virus and get to 70% of adult Americans vaccinated. Biden announced the initiative yesterday. It includes barber and beauty shops being used for vaccination sites, extended hours at pharmacies that administer the vaccine, and free beer. Biden says 12 states have already met the goal for 70 partial vaccinations, 70% partial vaccinations. California hit that mark a couple of days ago. Police in Florida say attempted murder charges could be filed against two teenagers who allegedly shot at officers. ABC's Andrea Fuji says 
Sheriff's deputy shot back at one of them, a 14-year-old girl. The sheriff says the girl had been arrested in the past for theft and for setting fires, but was sentenced to a halfway house. The children were living at the Florida United Methodist Children's Home under an emergency shelter program, which has now been temporarily shut down. Police say they've been called to that house nearly 300 times in the last year. Israeli Prime Minister Met, uh, Benjamin Netanyahu says he still has a few days up his sleeve before he loses his grip on his power. ABC's Jordana Miller says a diverse group of adversaries have banded together to kick Netanyahu out of office. His opponents, led by centrist Yair Lapid, announcing they have signed agreements to form a unity government. That would push Netanyahu, who is on trial for corruption, into the opposition. There have been four elections in two years in Israel, but Netanyahu has not been able to win a majority. And NASA says it's time to get back to Venus. The space agency says two robotic missions are planned to map out the planet's surface and analyze the atmosphere to figure out if it could have ever hosted life. NASA says the next two missions are expected to happen by 2030. Let's clear up your drive on the 10. There was a stalled vehicle in Colton on the 10 eastbound before the 215. It was in the right lane. Now it's cleared to the right shoulder. So your recovery begins right around Rancho Avenue. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by entry attorney Superwoman Superlawyer.com. Jeff Baugh, conditions on the westbound 210. Yeah, part of a real slow now, especially going from the north 57, that long metered transition to the west 210. It's really jammed up, and at Grand, uh, people were calling in about a couple of drivers chasing each other. The road rage is no good, so let's not have any of that, please. Uh, once you get past that, though, pretty good drive to Pasadena. I want to mention quickly, uh, if this went over your head, that Jen mentioned a problem in Rosemead. Uh, it was reopened there, but the Walnut Grove on to the west end, that was reclosed uh, because they discovered a spiller. So, new San Gabe or Rosemead, any of those, they'll get you done. Injured in an accident, they did superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Ball, KFI in the sky. Working a crash in Redlands on the 210 East of San Bernardino Avenue. It's the left lane that you can't use right now, so expect that delay to begin at Baseline Road. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Banks. Um, I I've let myself go a little bit. How much for a wax? Well, from about the earlobes down. Hello? Hello? And now, the top five reasons to visit Morocco. Number five. Modern Dad 2.0 giveaway. Get an HDTV wireless headphone kit when you earn 500 points on your reward card, June 7th or 8th. Number four. The Lazy River, Cabana, and Sunset Bar are calling you. Get a day pass to the Oasis School today. Three. Real winner giveaway. You can win up to $100 cash playing slot with your reward card. Wednesday to Thursday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Number two. Celebrate Dad at the Yellow. Reservations for Father's Day are going fast. Don't miss out. And the number one reason. Watching your team is more fun while getting your game on, too. Morongo's got big screens everywhere you eat, stay, and play. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times. So cat weather from KFI, sunny today, highs will range from the mid-60s to about the low 90s for the valleys in the IE. Now we'll stay warm through Saturday, drop it back into the upper 70s, low 80s for highs by Sunday. That should be the way we stay for most of next week, but then starting Friday again, we'll warm it back up to near 90. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee. Rick Edelman, award-winning radio host and founder of Edelman Financial Engines, takes questions on his radio show. Let's hear his advice on annuities. Hey, Rick, I'm looking for a good investment. Should I consider a fixed annuity? Well, fixed annuities aren't really investments. They're insurance products. You'll get a fixed rate of return from them, but it might not be enough to offset taxes and inflation. Most annuity contracts require you to keep the money there for 5 to 10 years. And if you're under age 59 and a half, any withdrawals are subject to a 10% IRS penalty. You should talk, therefore, to a fee-based financial advisor to see if an annuity is right for you, not someone who makes a living earning commissions selling annuities. You want a fiduciary who puts your best interests first. If you're looking for a trusted partner who's got your back, talk to one of our experienced financial planners by calling 888-PLAN-RICK or visit rickedelman.com. The French created from it. Kissing. Poodle. The Hamptons perfected relaxing, beaching, partying. We took both and made the world's favorite rosé. Born in France, raised in the Hamptons, made just for you. Hampton Water, make a splash, rosé responsibly. At Uline, they know firsthand the road to success is an uphill climb. Uline started in the family basement 
and through hard work is now North America's most trusted shipping and industrial supplier. They get what it means to have the support of reliable, hardworking partners. So they keep 38,000 items ready to ship. Whether your company is still in a basement office or expanding cross-country, Uline will be there on your road to success. Visit Uline.com. Mattress Firm's best Memorial Day sale ever has been extended for a limited time. Shop and save up to $500 on top-rated mattress brands like Sealy and Sleepy. Plus, get a free adjustable base with your $6.99 mattress purchase. Termite problems? Search PacificCoastTermite.com or call 800-PACIFIC. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. <laughs> KFI AM640. that was supposed to kind of take place, uh, take the place of social media posts has been uh, discontinued, but uh, that doesn't mean that, that we're not going to hear from him for some time to come. We'll talk about that next hour. Chilling story out of Fontana that happened this week. Looks like a guy broke into the home of a woman who police have described as elderly and disabled by removing screens from a window, forcing his way into her room, then sexually assaulted her. time. Yeah, he accused another, uh, sorry, he had uh, assaulted another woman on that same block. Several people came forward with surveillance images both before and after the assaults. By the way, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the guy who almost walked into one of those doorbell cameras. Yeah. And you could see the giant tattoo on his neck, which, listen, I am all for tattoos. I wouldn't say all for it. If you want to do that, that's totally fine. But understand that that's also how the police will find you, especially if, if you're a documented gang member and right. your tags have been doc have been you know tallied. Now this guy, uh, they eventually found him as he was driving around. Um, they gave a quick chase because he jumped out of the car. He refused to surrender and actually began to cut his own uh, neck with a knife. Yeah. This is what the chief said. Quote, he refused to comply before collapsing, ironically, into a pile of garbage. Uh, the fight continues over Orange County's DNA database. This was a lawsuit by professors and students at UCI Law School. They wanted to shut down the DNA, the district attorney's DNA collection program. Yeah, it's, it's not over. The judge dismissed this case on uh, technical grounds, but... The suit says that this DNA database, it's the only one that's run uh, by prosecutors, is not authorized by law in California. They say it's a waste of taxpayer money. They say it disproportionately affects poor people. Uh, Todd Spitzer says this completely vindicates the program, and he demanded an apology uh, from UCI's civil rights clinic. Has Todd Spitzer ever denied to com uh, comment on anything? Has he ever declined that? <laughs> That's a good point. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. I think he would comment on a paper bag if we called him. We're like, hey, Todd, what do you think about this Alex, paper bag? Get Todd Spitzer on the phone. He happens to be the uh, district attorney for the great county of Orange and ask him if he thinks Anthony Davis is going to play tonight for the Lakers. You guys know he listens. Yeah. I mean, he loves it right now. Call. He loves He'll this. Call. He will call. He better be laughing. Of course he is. Okay, of course he is. Yeah. All right, uh, you've got two dozen cops in Oakland who have did, been disciplined over their response to the protests after George Floyd in Minneapolis. <laughs> so I guess these two dozen cops, uh, they've been reprimanded or suspended for using tear gas last summer against peaceful protesters who were in the streets. But here's the deal. The city saw protests over four nights in May and June. 
that started peacefully, but then went into crazy chaos. Remember you had a, uh, I think it was a, a federal cop who was, a, or a security guard who was shot and killed. Scott, my husband, works in the building that they were protesting outside in downtown Oakland. Had to send everybody home because of fears of what was going on. Yeah, you make a great point that what starts off as a peaceful protest often turns into an unpeaceful protest. And at what point, here's, here's my question, at what point does an officer decide we're going from peaceful to chaotic? Where's that, where's that line? You can tell, like, you've covered these things, right? Like, you can tell when the crowd turns, when yeah. the, the adrenaline picks yep. up and, and, and everyone starts feeding off of each other. And the officers have been trained to identify that point. And that's when you get the dispersal orders. And that is when things often escalate, is when they put the dispersal order out and then the crowd gets even more pissed off. Don't tell me to take it down a notch. I'm going to turn it up five. Right. And I, I just feel like, and I, I'm not saying, maybe these, these two dozen cops did entirely do wrong. Maybe it was a, a group of people sitting on the ground with their legs crossed. Yeah, I had no right idea. In. I wasn't there. But yeah. I'm just saying, if they didn't, and they felt like it was starting to escalate, or it had turned that corner, how, I mean, who is the arbiter of where that line is? Well, another story about police, and uh, I guess you could call it police reform in San Diego. Mm. Man. I feel like a woman. Police officers there in San Diego must refer to transgender and non-binary individuals by their pronouns. Must allow them to choose the gender of the officer who searches them and must take them to the jail facility that aligns with the person's preferred identity. Hold on. Quick question. Um, how are you going to be able to choose the gender of the officer who searches you? What if there's not a female officer there? And they don't get searched. You don't get searched. Until a female officer shows okay. up. I have a question, and I don't know anybody who here has been misidentified. Have you ever been called sir? No. John, have you ever been called ma'am? I'm not, I'm not saying like, it's, and not even to be funny, just that, that identity. For some reason, somebody misidentifies you or calls you by the wrong pronoun. Are you then crippled in pain because words hurt? No, we're not transgender people, and that is painful for them to be referred to as the wrong pronoun. Okay, but if you are in a, if you're in a, there are very few high, there are very few situations where you're involved with law enforcement that don't also bring some high pressure to them, right? You're either a victim of crime, maybe you're accused of a crime, maybe you reported a crime. All of these things are very high pressure situations. In the event that an officer misidentifies you, is that the biggest thing that happened to you that day? I don't know because I don't have the brain chemistry that makes me want to uh, transition. I don't know if that's something that would be deeply painful, that that would be an egregious thing. All this is, P.S., is Pride Month whoring. That's all it is. Well, it's like we care about Pride Month and this is what we're going to do to show everyone right. and, and check off those boxes. Because is there anybody on the San Diego Police Department who's going to say, no, 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 I am not going to identify, no. I am not going to use the pronoun that you told me to use. I'm no. going to do, no one's going to do that. <laughs> well, we'll come back to handle on the news uh, in just a moment and talk about how, uh, uh, Coca-Cola machines have now been banned in a county office in North Carolina because of something that happened in Georgia. Gary and Shannon in for Handle today. Jennifer Jones Lee has an update from the newsroom. The former Minneapolis cop who killed George Floyd's asking for probation. Prosecutors want Derek Chauvin to get 30 years when he's sentenced in three weeks, but his attorney argues Chauvin has no criminal history and would likely be targeted in prison. A mom in Mississippi is facing charges after her two-year-old daughter accidentally shot her nine-year-old brother in the head. Police say the toddler, toddler found her mom's gun under the seat of her car. And SpaceX is using a brand new booster rocket to send cargo to the International Space Station today. The Falcon 9 rocket will blast off from Florida later this morning. We've got an issue on the 14 with DKFI in the sky next.
Thinking of buying a house and want a really low interest rate? Owning has a special for home purchases, where Owning pays all your closing costs, and the rate in APR is an unheard of 1.875% for a 15-year fixed mortgage with 20% down. This is the craziest low rate for a mortgage with no closing costs that Owning has ever done. 1.875% rate in APR. Heck, we're almost paying you to live in a new house. Call 8332-OWNING or go to owning.com to see if you qualify for this crazy low 1.875% rate. That's a fixed rate loan at 1.875% with no closing costs. Call 8332-OWNING now because 1.875 could go away at any time. NMLS 2611, licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential Mortgage Lending Act. Subject to credit approval. Offer assumes the use of lender's choice as pro title services. Call 833-858-0066 for terms and conditions. That's 8332-OWNING or owning.com. 8332-OWNING or owning.com. Mattress Firm's best Memorial Day sale ever has been extended for a limited time. Shop and save up to $500 on top-rated mattress brands like Sealy and Sleepy. Plus, get a free adjustable base with your $6.99 mattress purchase. SoCal weather from KFI, mostly sunny with highs mid-60s to the low 90s. This report is brought to you by Mattress Firm. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We've got an issue on the 14. So at Santa Clarita, 14 southbound, just before Via Princesa, somebody broke down here. They were able to move to the right shoulder, but it's a very narrow right shoulder, so you will slow down as you approach that scene. The worst part of that drive, though, is going to be past the scene. It seems pretty darn crowded to the 5 freeway. KFI in the Sky is sponsored by injury attorney SuperwomanSuperLawyer.com. Jeff Vaughn with a wreck on the 405. Hey, it's 405. It's always crowded. Uh, just a heads up for you. Now, we were a little concerned about this, but this isn't on the West L.A. side uh, coming out of the San Fernando Valley. At Santa Monica Boulevard, we had a couple lanes blocked. Someone's in-car alert system went to 911, so there was a bit of concern, but everybody got over to the shoulder very easily. So going back to the San Fernando Valley, it's the normal stuff coming away from Roscoe. Again, once you get going downhill, you'll be okay. And even south of the 10, it's still a good drive down to LAX. If you do make the transition to eastbound 10, Santa Monica Freeway, downtown Los Angeles, that is looking good. Injured in an accident, visit superwoman, superlawyer.com, Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. In uh, Yorba Linda on the 91 eastbound at Gypsum Canyon, uh, heads up to some kind of a traffic hazard. It's uh, reported in the right lanes. Watch for people swerving. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Robin Day. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Life hacks. What would life be without them? Here's a life hack you may not have thought of. Using Allstate's low auto rates to save money. With Allstate, you can lower your rates, not your expectations. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Hey, it's Gary Hoffman. Let's talk about your Medicare coverage. Are you new to Medicare? Scan Health Plan is here to help. With Scan, you get comprehensive coverage plus extra benefits that may surprise you. All with exceptional service you won't find anywhere else. Call Scan at 1-855-370-7226. TTY711 or ask your agent about SCAN. SCAN Health Plan is an HMO plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in SCAN Health Plan depends on contract renewal. Alaska is like no place on Earth, shaped by fire and ice, home to a variety of wildlife that could make the Serengeti jealous, and warmed less by the midnight sun than by the smiles of the people who call this great land home. With some of the highest vaccination rates in the country, and plenty of fresh air, you won't find a safer place to visit than Alaska. Visit TravelAlaska.com to plan your perfect journey. Look, staying healthy isn't easy. Watching your diet, hitting the gym, avoiding stress. But a good night's rest helps boost your overall health and wellness. And it couldn't be easier. The new Sweet Number 360 Smart Bed is the only bed that effortlessly adjusts in response to both of these. The result? You wake up ready for anything. Proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. Save $1,000 on the new Sweet Number 360 Special Edition Smart Bed Queen, now $17.99. Plus special financing ends Monday. Special financing subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. Summer's here, things are opening back up, and you still have that ugly old garage door. Hi, Dwight here from Mesa. No more excuses. It's time to totally transform the look of your home with a new garage door from Mesa. Normally, a new Mesa garage door is $9.49, but today I'm slashing the price to $6.99. You save $250. Bucks. Plus, I'm throwing in the installation free, bottom seal free, and I'll even pay your sales tax. Be one of the next 11 callers, and I'll even throw in our exclusive quiet light system, dramatically reducing the noise of your garage door. 
normally $199, now absolutely free. Whether you need a new garage door or just need your old one fixed, you can trust the Mesa Advantage for all your garage door needs. The best garage doors from the best professionals at the absolute best price. To take advantage of this special summer deal, grab your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say Mesa Garage Doors. On your cell phone, dial pound 250, and say Mesa Garage Doors. If you want to sell your house or condo fast and easy, call Seller's Advantage. They'll buy your home as is for cash. Hey, with Seller's Advantage, there are no realtor fees or commissions, no escrow fees, no repairs needed, no open houses, no strangers walking through your home. They buy your house or condo for cash. Damon and Doug from Seller's Advantage bought a house from one of our KFI listeners. He met with a couple of real estate agents and then with Seller's Advantage. He compared the numbers and went with Seller's Advantage. Smart guy. He ended up with the same money, same bottom line, and no repairs, no headaches, no open houses, no hassle. He says working with Seller's Advantage was the easiest real estate transaction he's ever completed. If you're considering selling your home, call Seller's Advantage and see how much your house is worth. Call now for your free quote. Call 888-321-AS-IS. That's 888-321-AS-IS. 888-321-AS-IS. BRE number 0196-1658. Go to sellersadvantage.com. Love getting prices that are lower than low on food that's fresher than fresh? Then shop at Ralph's. We give you more ways to save on the fresh you love. With tools like the Ralph's app, where you can find personalized coupons on top of weekly sales, giving you prices that are lower than the everyday love. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. And right now, you'll find more ways to save when you buy six or more participating sale items. You'll save 50 cents each with cards. Ralph's, fresh for everyone. Now, another iHeartRadio COVID-19 vaccine update. U.S. top doc Anthony Fauci says businesses, schools, and summer camps will be getting more guidance on mask wearing soon. Over the next few weeks, you're going to see more and more explicit, granular description of what can and cannot be done. Fauci predicts the U.S. could approach the end of the coronavirus pandemic in the next month or so, saying it will happen after at least 70% of adults have received one or more vaccine dose. Get the latest vaccine info now at cdc.gov slash coronavirus. Live, KFI, local, AM640, and iHeart Radio Station. Jerry and Shannon, KFI, AM640, live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. In for handle today, it is Thursday, June 3rd. Much later in the show, Brian Suits, host of Dark Secret Place, is going to join us for our uh, Tactical Thursday. If nothing else, we're going to talk about that Iranian cargo ship that you poo-pooed me yesterday. Well, that heated up, didn't it? Get it? It caught fire. Did I you keep do that doing on purpose, that. Then? I keep doing that. But two oh. Iranian Navy ships now heading to the Americas, huh. posing a potential provocation. Yes, they may be headaches of Venezuela. You were on to something. They may be on to something. Sports last night, Clippers lost to the Mavericks, 105-100, so Dallas now is a 3-2 lead in that series. They'll play game six tomorrow night. Lakers host the Suns again tonight at uh, Staples Center. As of right now, Anthony Davis is not a sure thing, but they're saying the doctors will decide. Todd Spitzer said he believes the doctors will make the right decision. Yesterday, you asked, where's Cody Bellinger? Uh, and last somebody night, somebody heard me. <laughs> he responded. Uh, he had a grand slam and six RBIs. Yeah. The Dodgers scored their most runs in one inning of a regular season game since they became the Los Angeles Dodgers. 11 runs in the bottom of that first inning. We can... That's, that's got to hurt. If you're the Cardinals, oh. what do you do with that you point? You just go home. You got to say, I'm going to go on home now. You, you tying up your bat boy to play left field and your third string bullpen catcher to pitch, were you, in the seventh inning or something? We continue with Handel on the news. Surrey County, North Carolina is fighting back against Big Coke. <laughs> Surrey County, North Carolina announced they will ban Coca-Cola vending machines in county-owned buildings after Coca-Cola was critical of the voting law that was passed in the state of Georgia. The longest-serving county commissioner in Surrey County, a guy named Eddie Harris, said the response to the boycott has been mostly positive, and he hopes that the legislation will be implemented in other counties across North Carolina. 
The world of Coke is amazing. You ever been? No. At the end, you get, it's like a, at the end of Willy Wonka's factory and, and you get sort of let out into like a world of candy, mm -hmm. but you get let out into a world of Coke and you get to go to these giant kiosks that have all these different flavors and whatever, and you get to make your own concoctions. Mm. And, and then you have this horrible sugar high for the rest of the day. <laughs> and your teeth felt squishy for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> NASA wants to go to Venus. So you've got one mission named Da Vinci Plus. We'll look at the thick, cloudy Venetian atmosphere in an attempt to determine whether the planet ever had an ocean. And was there ever life there? I feel like we're a little late to the game on this. Shouldn't we know if there was ever life on Venus by now? I'm in, I don't know. I don't know why we're having our first yeah. Venusian trips right. in 2030. Well, it's taken us a while. It's, it's, the the first, it's the first since 1978. We've done these before, but just think about how technology has, has changed in that 40 plus years. You know? Uh, and, and what we would be, may be able to learn now that we couldn't back in the late Well, time. you look at the Mars rover, right, and uh, the technology there, and what that's been able to, to uh, find out about Mars. So, yeah, you're right. Uh, all right, in Houston, people continue to lose their minds. This time it's a mother shot her five-year-old son by accident. She was trying to shoot a dog that was running across the street there in North Houston. It happened on Saturday. She's been charged with deadly conduct with a firearm. According to neighbors, this woman and her son and another family member were riding bikes down the street when a dog ran out. The dog is a six-month-old boxer puppy named Bruno. Six-month-old boxer doesn't strike me as the most aggressive kind of dog. Who brings their pistol with them on the bike ride? This I is guess Houston. It's Texas. This yeah, is Houston. Yeah, my bad. It's not, you know, the San Gabriel foothills. Why well, are you yelling? I don't know, but I imagine you've run into enough bears that you probably want to start packing some heat. You know what? One of my case. friends asked me that uh, after my last encounter with a bear. She said, uh, do you have a gun? I'm like, do you know what would happen if I shot a bear in my neighborhood? I would be burned at the stake. Like, I would be killed on, shot on site immediately by everyone who lives there. Like that's how much the community loves the bears. Not to mention the the frightening prospect of you with a firearm firing willy nilly while running away from a bear. Yeah, I'm not allowed to have a firearm. That's one of I, I, if there are any marital rules in place for me. It's no firearm in the house. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> No gun. I get it. Guy in Florida named PJ. You're a grown man. Can we drop the PJ? Uh, guy in Florida tried to use the uh, stand your ground law to get out of animal cruelty charges for killing an iguana. <laughs> well, it was, it was three feet. Uh, so, you know, it's a big iguana. Uh, I would be so embarrassed if my attorney said... Well, the animal leaned forward with its mouth wide open and showed its sharp teeth in a threatening manner. I would be humiliated. PJ's lawyers said the vicious animal got the best of PJ and savagely bit his right arm. He received 22 staples for his injury. That's a that seems like a rather large injury for a, for an iguana. Killing an iguana is technically legal in Florida if if. It's done humanely. Yeah. You can hit iguanas over the head with a shovel, stab okay. them in the brain, and yeah. even decapitate them as long as they die instantly and don't suffer. Oh. Yeah, but prosecutors in this case said that he kicked the iguana at least 17 times. That is not funny. Who's laughing? I'm not supposed to kick iguanas. The, the iguana had a lacerated liver, broken pelvis, and internal yeah. bleeding. Hold on a second. They did an autopsy on the iguana? Yeah. To figure all of that out. It seems like a it seems like a waste of money. Maybe it's just me. Seems like a waste Why, of money. Why but I mean, listen, as this guy has no case. Because if you were truly scared of your life, you wouldn't stick around to kick the iguana seventeen times. You'd kick it once to get away from it. 
and then you'd run right. the other way. Yeah. You wouldn't stay there and continue to kick the poor iguana. Especially if you have a wound that requires just 22 staples. <laughs> your, so, your arm is bleeding. It's hanging in shreds like a like a tissue. I think that's some sort of mental health issue. I think the man may have had a screwdriver. Hey, a little bit later in the show, as a reminder, Magic is back at Disneyland Resort. We have a four-pack, a family four-pack of tickets to Disneyland Resort that we're going to be giving away a little bit later. Uh, for all of the information, Disneyland.com is where you're going to find all the important stuff. Coming up next, we've got a new type of pandemic to take.